Okay, guess what? Today we're going to do some DMR. I'm going to do some testing along with DMR, and I'm going to do it with the new ICOM IC705. I'm going to do some DMR with the ICOM IC705. You want to you you look at that? I just thought I'd, I'd turn the radio on today, and, you know, let's do some DMR. Why not? Shut up and sit down. Ham Radio 2.0, where we do reviews, news, and how-tos of many things that are new in amateur radio. And the ICOM IC705 is certainly no exception to that rule. It's possible I've done a couple of videos on it before. (laughs) I don't know. And now you're probably thinking to yourself, Jason, you're going to do more clickbait? Come on, man. You can't do freaking DMR with the IC705. It's a D-Star radio. It does QRP. You can't do, you just can't do, you Oh. Oh. Yeah. Actually, it turns out that you can do DMR or Fusion or even P25 with this little guy. Let's try to key up the ICOM IC705 with the open spot 3, which is currently flashing green. I wonder if that shows in the camera. Uh, <laughs> you can see through. Oh, you see what? <laughs> That's awesome. So when the little bubble at the bottom of the unit turns green, you can see through it in the green screen. That's fun. <laughs> uh, I amuse myself. I have to amuse myself. Nobody else is amused by me. So, okay, what we have done here is I have switched to DMR Homebrew MMDVM mode. I've got my stuff set up here. There's videos on YouTube about that go into in depth. That's not what this video is about. So you go in here to your regular connector that you have set up for DMR already, and then all you basically do is you change, you hit the drop down here and change your modem mode to D star, or you can change it to C4 FM. If I was doing a, a, um, I guess it won't do P25, but, um, uh, but you just, if you want to do cross mode, if you want to do cross mode from DMR, I already got the open spot set for DMR. I changed the modem to D star. Okay. So what I did was I connected to the TGIF network first. Um, I was wanting to connect to my HB link server, which is connected into the Lone Star Seabridge network. But I think there's some sort of call routing that has to be done on PyStar, the PyStar device that's running HB link in order to route, because I'm not sending a DMR ID there. So I think there's some sort of call routing that has to be done in HB link to say, send talk group nine traffic to this something right here. You've got this set up in the open spot right here where it says route cross mode calls to id blah and that seems to work on tgif and on brandmeister but it's not working on hb link and i think there's something that needs to be changed in hb link so further testing might be warranted there but we are connected to the tgif network and uh these guys are chatting away on talk group number 31665 i'm going to try to jump in there here in a second KC5HWB. Let's see how that works. Yep. Going through. Hey, there he is. Hey, good morning. Uh, well, good afternoon now. Yeah. Uh, how you doing, Jason? Hope all is well with you there. <clears throat> <clears throat> hey, Robert. Uh, yeah, good afternoon to you as well. I just um, doing some t- uh, tinkering around in the shack here, uh, different st- stuff here. I-, I realized last week I never followed up with you. We need to get together about that um, update, that screen update on your hotspot, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, currently, r- what I'm doing right now, you guys let me know how my audio sounds. I am talking into an ICOM IC705 uh, in D-Star mode. Uh, going through an open spot three transcoding to DMR and coming out to the uh, TGIF network. So wondering how it sounds on your side. (laughs) 
Yeah, it just sounds very clear, very clear, very crisp. Uh, it, it's, uh, it, it's got treble to it. It's got a lot of treble, treble to it, okay. it's very clear, very crisp, okay. very easy to understand. Cool. So it's got a little bit more highs and less lows it than what he probably just compared to the last station he was talking to. Okay, good. Good to know. Okay, well, good. That's that's good to know that it's got it's got more trouble on it than uh, than I assume what you've the other stations you've been talking to over there. So, well, good. This is my first uh, operation with the uh, the seven hundred five. I got it in last week. I, I did a little bit of playing around with just uh, the going through the different menus and whatnot. This is my the first time I've ever operated D stars is right now, and I uh, <laughs> thought, well, uh, rather than get on D star, which I I rarely do. I just thought I'd uh, fire up the Open Spot Three and transcode it and see uh, see what kind of information I could get out there just to do it. I don't think anybody's done that with the 705 yet, so uh, I might be the first person to try some DMR QSOs through the uh, through the new ICOM radio. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't think anybody's done that yet. Yeah, very good, very good. Well, yeah, stop by 66 Delta on D Star sometime. That's where a lot of our group uh, hangs mm. out, uh, okay. hangs out here. And uh, uh, D Star is fun. That's where we all started at, uh, you know, way back in the day. Uh, gosh, probably 10 years ago. Uh, and it's even been around longer than that. So, but it's, yeah, it's working great, working great. Yeah, I just uh, recently acquired a PhD 74 Kenwood. Mm -hmm. Man, oh man, talking about a, a complicated radio to figure out. Have, have, have you ever you played with that one? <clears throat> yes. Yeah, I've had I've had one of those for a short while. Um, I've done I've done a little bit of D Star work with it, and I've um, used it i've used it with the open spot to transcode as well but the thing i like best about that one is uh just using it in analog I, I like the fact that it has 220 um i like using it in analog and i like that it has bluetooth so when i go to my hunting lease a lot of times i'm carrying that radio with me so that i can have a bluetooth earpiece uh in my ear and then the radio kind of sitting on a table or sitting somewhere else clipped to a clip somewhere in in the hunting stand where i'm at and then if I hear somebody, you know, it just comes into my to my earpiece instead of having to have a wired earpiece or having the radio blare out too loud when you're trying to be quiet in a hunting stand. So I really like the Bluetooth capability of that, and uh, and there's a really great 220 repeater up there near where we go hunting as well. So it uh, it, it kind of works out in multiple ways that way. But yeah, the the price tag on it's a little bit hefty. Um, but other and the battery life I wish was a little bit longer. But other than that, I think that's a really solid radio. I really like mine. Right on, yeah. I really like it a lot. I've, I'm just learning a lot of the things with it, and uh, it is pretty amazing. I think there's like 990-something menu items <laughs> yeah. in the thing. So, uh, yeah, we'll get it all figured out. Just take it one step at a time like anything else. But, uh, yeah, feel free uh, if you give me a call uh, at any time. I'm, I'm busy right now, or I, I would... I'll it's fine. do that right now. I've got a bunch of hot spots going out today from the weekend. But uh, any other time, just give me a call when you have about half an hour, 45 minutes. I, I do that for you real quick. Uh, it, it's the new scripts. And uh, once I get those installed in there, then you can just do the update very easily from the screen. But uh, the update does a lot of neat stuff, and Mitch is coming out with new updates almost every other day now. Wow. And uh, uh, he's uh, updated a lot of the flags on the other, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, DMR. A lot of the flags were like half the size that they should be because uh, he did the uh, 2.4 2 inch first, so now he's porting it all over to the 3.5. And uh, the text and stuff is much sharper and clearer. Uh, and, uh, there's uh, color schemes that you can change to that are real nice. Nice. You can even change the color schemes on the idle page. Um, uh, he's just done some amazing stuff here. He's talking about this hot spot here. So, but uh, yeah, anytime you got about a half an hour, 45 minutes, just call me. I think you got my number. 
and I'll bounce in there and get you all fixed up. <clears throat> okay, man. Yeah, that sounds great. I should be able to do that this week. Uh, I got a couple things going on today myself. I generally try to spend Mondays in the shack recording videos, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, but uh, but I should have some time probably Wednesday is what I'm thinking right now. So I'll hit you up. Thanks, Robert. I appreciate it. I'm going to clear off of here and uh, go do some more tinkering around with different aspects on this radio. But I uh, really appreciate you coming back to me. Sounding good as always. And uh, we will catch you probably sometime later this week. Uh, let's see. Uh, Moved my mouse to the wrong spot there. Uh, K4WZ Victor uh, from KC5HWV. Thanks a lot, Robert. Okay, so now I'm going to switch from MMDVM, which is where you have to have it set for, for TGIF. I'm going to switch to Homebrew. And there. Open spot. Connected to Grandmeister. 3103. And now, no. Okay, and now I'm going to switch that to 31770. I probably should have done that at the same time. It doesn't matter, though. Change. Okay. Open spot. Connected to Grandmeister. 3103. Okay, now I'm going to go over here to Brandmeister. Connected there, and we are going to push it towards talk group 31770, which is the R Finder talk group. And I'm going to key up here KC5 HWB testing on the R Finder talk group uh, Brandmeister. Let's see if my. Yes. So, okay, I came through there, so that's good. W2CYK. I wonder why it said his. No. I wonder why it said his call sign. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm doing an experiment right now. I'd like to know how I sound, um, how that sounds on, on your side over there uh, from, from this radio, KC5HWB. Like you're not centered. Not centered. Sounds like you're not centered. Uh, okay. I I don't know if you mean mentally. I mean, I pretty much stay that way most of the time. But uh, <laughs> not centered. Uh, does it sound off frequency or what? Wait, right. What do you want? Hmm. I wonder if there's a bit error rate I can adjust on this thing. I am actually on an ICOM IC705 talking uh, as D Star <clears throat> going through the open spot three transcoding to DMR and coming out on uh, Brandmeister. Oh, that's what it is. It's transcoding. I get it. <laughs> you lose like a little bit of resolution when you do that. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, a little bit. I I just uh, I just talked to Robert over on the TGIF network for the last five or seven minutes, and uh, he said it sounded like there was more trebles to it. Um, not as much, not as much low end, not as much bass, but he, I mean, it, it was a hundred percent copy. So he, um, you know, we held a QSO for more than five minutes, so it, it, it at least it works that way. Oh, yeah, it's not like it's bad, and it just, uh, I mean, it's noticeable. No. But it's not surprising. I'm not shocked at all. I know what's going on there. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I just uh, I'm just 
uh, doing some toying around with the with the uh, IC705, I wanted to do some DMR because it's because I can. <laughs> Uh, I, I've seen a lot of videos about this radio, about all, all the stuff it'll do, and I thought I'd put it together with the Open Spot 3 and try to do some uh, D-Star cross-connect with it. So that's that was the purpose of the video today. Okay, well, mission accomplished. That was what I wanted to do. I wanted to do some transcoding between um, the 705 and, and TGIF, which I did that a minute ago, and then the 705 and, um, and Brandmeister, so... Good. It does work. I can hold a QSO, so that's all good. I appreciate you being out there, Bob. Uh, I'll follow up with you later about some other stuff. KC5, HWV. Cool. He sent me a video of what I sounded like. Yeah, very good. Well, you're uh, readable. It's just obvious that you're losing some uh, some resolution. Yeah. Converting from amp to PCM to MB2, so, you know, you get the double conversion, so, to do what you're doing, so. But, um, you know what it sounds like? <laughs> it sounds like sideband, honestly. <laughs> sounds like sideband. sounds like sideband. You know, off frequency. But, um, I just sent you a video on Messenger so you could hear it. Uh, I, I see a lot of videos about this radio, about all, uh, all the stuff it'll do, and, I thought I'd put it together with the open spot three and try to do some uh, deep or cross connect with it. So that's that was the purpose of the video today. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I saw his video on Messenger pop up a second ago. Okay. Good. Yeah. That'll be that'll be helpful too. Yeah. You keep dropping out. You keep dropping. Uh, um, like you, it'll it'll beep. It'll drop and then it'll come right back. That happened like three times during that last transmission. But good deal. Yeah, I definitely. Uh, thanks for the video in, in Messenger. I, I do want to hear what it sounds like. Uh, okay, I'm going to get back to it over here and finish up what I'm doing. I'll, I'll reach back out to you later. KC5 HWB. So, there you go. That is that. It is possible. Message BM United States. Honestly, I'm having a spot of lunch watching uh, YouTube. Um conservative news. <laughs> yeah. I have some lunch in my car with it's like on the dashboard Android. But I'm going in it in a minute. Catch you later. And cool. you kept dropping out too. It's it, it, it's either the network or something in the conversion or something. Who knows? It's probably um, the network. I'll be my desk in a few. Let me see what I It's probably the network because it didn't do that on TGIF. TGIF I think is a little bit more solid network. So, okay, good. Let's go there and there. All right, cool. So, there we go. The ICOM IC705 used as a um, DMR radio, transcoded with the OpenSpot 3 from D-Star, using a DV mode D-Star in the 705, going through the OpenSpot, which transcodes D-Star to DMR, talked on the TGIF network, talked on the Brandmeister network, couldn't get the Seabridge network to work, but I think that, again, is something because you're, you're running an HB link and DMR link server in between <clears throat> the, the network and the radio. So basically, it's almost like it's going through two hotspots. It's going through the open spot to the HB link server, which runs, well, which can run on a Pi. Mine's not running on a Pi, but it is a Linux-based OS. And I think there's some routing in there that needs to be done to so that it knows how to handle this cross mode traffic because I'm not I'm not actually transmitting talk group number three one four eight or number um, thirty one hundred or whatever to the HB link server. I'm transcoding this or I'm transmitting this transcoded TG nine that gets switched inside of the open spot. And I don't think it knows what to do with it. That's my best guess. I don't know. It worked on the other two networks. If I key up my radio right now and talk directly into my HB link server, it works just fine talking on that repeater network. So there's too many, too many different hops and too many different jumps to have it do that. <laughs> do that, I guess. So, but it'll be fun to try to get to work in, in the, in the future. So 73 to everyone. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, put a comment below. Let me know what type of videos you would like to see upcoming on the ICOM IC705 brand new.